How would you buy your first helicopter? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a big topic. Um, I have made, <laughs> I've done this video or this topic on YouTube many, many, many times over the years. And it's a, good, it's a great question, right? So I'm, I'm not complaining. It's just, I answer this a lot. You want to think very long and hard before you go out and purchase an aircraft, right? They're going to be more expensive than what you think. You know, you see a helicopter for sale somewhere. Like the other day, I saw one pop up in R44. $88,000. Wow. And you go, oh, wow. $88,000 for, for a pretty R44 like that. Wow, that's not that bad. And then when you find out that the thing's almost timed out and the money that you're going to spend to have to do the rebuild on it or the the overhaul on it, you go, oh, that's why it's only for sale for 88,000 or any helicopter out there. Maybe you're looking at an Enstrom and you see an Enstrom for sale for 120,000. Hey, wow, that was like a great price. Well, the engine's probably close to being needing an overhaul or a gearbox, whatever the case is. So helicopters hands down are super expensive. If you want to get past that, right? Like just be prepared that this thing is going to cost you no matter what somebody tells you and what you figure on paper, it's going to cost you more. If the manufacturer says it costs $165 an hour to operate that helicopter figure. It's going to be double because you can figure insurance. You can figure, you can guess on maintenance. You'll know you have annuals and hundred hours and all those inspections, but it's the breakdowns throughout the year or it's you run the rotor blade into the side of the hangar going out the door and you got to replace a rotor blade for 40 grand. It's the things that pop up that you're not prepared for that really kills operators. So get past the money part. Money for, let's say for any individual, the money is no problem. You should start in a smaller aircraft like the typical training helicopters, R22, R44, a Schweitzer, a Cabri, an Enstrom, all good helicopters, right? If you're going to fly buy one for yourself, you would need to go fly them, right? Like if you're going to put that kind of investment into it, I would go sample them, you know, go get some intro flights, go actually get in them, right? And see how they fly. How do you fit in them? For example, the R22 doesn't work for a larger frame person or a really tall person. They just may not fit well in the R22 and they may be overweight by what the limitation is. And that doesn't mean you're fat. It means the R22 is built to haul like two, let's say medium sized people, you know, like the training that we do, we always have to ask the question first, well, what do you weigh? Right? Because depending on who's going to fly with you, the person that can get in, cause I'm not about a small guy and Hauser's kind of a brute. He's weighs a little less than me, but we, there's a limit to how much a person can weigh and get in and be legal in the aircraft. And then you have options like say, if you're going to be a, you're going to be flying for as a private individual, you're just going to be flying for fun. An Enstrom is a great choice because of that fully articulated rotor system, nice and stable. Um, it has a nice baggage compartment on it where you could put in a small suitcase. You could almost fit golf clubs in there, but it might not be quite deep enough, but an Enstrom has, it's a little more fancy. It's a little more comfortable. looks a little more like a real helicopter. I mean, they're all real, but you know, there would be advantages to an Enstrom. Um, Schweitzers are cool little helicopters, great trainers, but there's no baggage on those either. And they're slow. Cabri's pretty popular, getting popular now. Another good choice, fully articulated system. They're cool little helicopters. Has a small baggage area, but very, very, very handy. To give you advice on what you should buy, um, if I was gonna say pick one, I'd pick an R44. And the reason I say that is, if you just wanted my opinion, for the smaller piston powered helicopters with an R44, you can take three people with you when you go to fly somewhere. If you're limited to only one person, that's kind of bummer. If you want to take up a couple people and you want to go fly somewhere for lunch or whatever the case is. And then the R44 also opens up that ability of using it for commercial operations. Maybe you want to buy a helicopter and lease it to a flight school. They might want to use it to do flight uh, rides on the weekends to make extra money. Not that I would advise somebody else taking a helicopter and using it, but it's an option. So there are many, many choices for you. If you're wanting to buy one privately or just one for your personal use, I would just caution you to understand that it's going to cost you a lot more money than what they tell you it is when you read about it and start talking to people. They're super expensive. So I would spend the time to really take a look at them and figure out what's right for you. You know, a lot of people will tell you, don't fly this helicopter. Don't fly that helicopter. 
Don't find that one, but this is the one. This is the one that you need, right? Eh, baloney, right? It's, it's what rights for you, what, what's right for you. What do you, how do you like the look of them? How do you like the comfort level of it? If you're gonna spend that kind of money, get something that you're gonna be comfortable in. And the biggest thing about buying one is what is the maintenance history on it? Who did that maintenance? Maintenance is such a big deal. That's why if money's no object, buy a new one. Because then you're getting a brand new aircraft and you can pick the people that you want to maintain it. You know you're not getting something that's been wrecked, been beat up, been used in training, uh, has log books that maybe may or may not be on the up and up because there's a lot of shady stuff that goes on in our industry, unfortunately, but it's the world we live in. So I would just take the time to research, pick what's best for you. But my number one choice would be R44 would be the way to go. And our clone is located at askhogs.com. You can go below and click on the link to go check it out. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can ask training related questions, flight and ground. 14 years of my contents loaded in this thing. Blogs, podcasts, videos, paid content, free content. There's over 6 million words piped into my clone. It's amazing. Go down below, askhogs.com. The clone is free to everyone, and the clone is also inside of our hog site on every video, every page. So you can be in viewing videos, and you can always ask the clone a question while you're at it, so you can get an immediate answer. First, right here, is free. Free PDF, Private Pilot 101 Helicopter Training Blueprint. That's why we created this. And let me cover what's in the first chapter. Since you ask and you're at the beginning, that's why we created this. The first chapter are questions that we've, we took like the top 10 questions that we get all the time, like is learning how to fly a helicopter difficult? How long will it take to become a private pilot? How much will it cost to become a private pilot? What is the best approach to selecting a flight school? What are the key differences between helicopters and fixed wing aircraft? How many tests will I have to take? How many hours for solo on the license? Kenny's recommended training supplies. So this is absolutely 100% free. You can go down below, there's a link down below, or you can type in your browser, privateblueprint.com, and you can download immediately after you sign up. You'll sign up, send, enter your name and email, and the next page will show you download your book here. That's where you should start, because again, it's free. Or subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel and you'll get a notification when the new video comes out for either the live or the premiere, whichever way we do it. And then we want to also bring up, we are updating, starting to update our R22 specific course behind us. Course behind us. Course using the helicopter behind us. Lindsay's in charge of getting in there and updating some images in the R22 site uh, section of hogs. We have R22 specific section and an R44 specific section that come with any of our memberships. So you don't have to buy that specifically. We use Private Pilot, for example, monthly membership. It has both the R22 and R44 sections in there. And since we have an R22 available for, to us and an R44 available to us, we thought, why not get the content updated in those courses with some fresh videos, fresh images? And also want to mention, hogspaysme.com this is passive income you want to earn some money particularly if you're a flight instructor anybody can use the hogs affiliate link you go to hogspayme.com that link is down below you'll sign up for it it'll give you access to a dashboard inside that you'll see your link and a link to share with others so when they sign up you receive 50 percent off our online memberships private pilot commercial pilot instrument pilot certified flight instructor and or private or professional pilot, that's 2,800 bucks. If you share your link with one of your students and they buy Pro Pilot, it's a lifetime membership for all courses, you will get $1,400 shipped to your PayPal account after the 30 days. So we have a few spots left for the spring of 2025. So you gotta get in now if you want one of these because as course, as we're moving into spring, People are talking, they're calling. So we've got like three spots left for the spring. If you wanna get in, we're going to put a link down below this video. We've got a short questionnaire to see if you qualify for the final approach course. Go through that at the link below, answer the question and we'll get back to you if you look like you're a good fit or we're a good fit to get you finished up.
We got three spots basically for the spring so we can make you number 20, number 21, and number 22 on the Hogs Wall of Fame. When you feel the pressure to fly, but know the right decision is to stay on the ground, hit the Hogs no-go and live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com